what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife I have a guest with us today and he has got the prettiest blonde hair you've ever seen. Say hey! <laughs> He's a very solemn child. <laughs> this is Levi. He was not feeling 100% today. So, um, Bubbles got to keep him today. And, let me just say, y'all like how real I am. And that I don't put on a performance or a show. So, let me just show you my kitchen. And you can see, oh, it's bad, y'all. It's bad, but that's okay. Bubbles needed to hold a child today, and um, so I'll work in the I'll work in the kitchen either tonight or sometime tomorrow. But um, so anyway, tonight we're making a frittata, and um, or kind of like a crustless quiche. So I'm going to show you, I, I put a picture of this several months ago out on Instagram, I think, and or maybe Facebook, and I got a lot of requests to show how to make it. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry, I'm straightening y'all up. That's what we're going to do tonight. And um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of prep work, not much, and see if I can get him to let me let him down. And um, Oh, goodness, he, he wants to be held. So, anyway, um, I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, what I'm doing now is I've chopped up some asparagus, um, about a cup of asparagus and about a half a cup of yellow bell pepper. And I wasn't going to do it in the frying pan, but I do want to soften it just a little bit. You don't have to do this step. You can, by all means, skip it. Um, but I just wanted to get the asparagus a little head start and get it softened a little bit before I put it in the frittata. But like I said, that is not a must step at all. Okay, so while the asparagus is getting soft, we're going to go ahead and get everything else started. My sick little baby has gone home so I can start to cook supper and eventually get to the kitchen. Sorry, it's a mess, y'all. Um, you can use eggs in this. I just happen to have some egg beaters, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, but if you use eggs, I would use four to five eggs for this. But I'm going to use about a cup of egg beaters. Let me get you turned down so you can see what I'm doing. And you can add anything to this that you would like. If you wanted to add broccoli instead of asparagus. Um, if you wanted to put onions in here, this is a third of a cup, so. Um, all right, so there we go in with the cup. Um, tomatoes would go great in this. Um, any kind of vegetable, spinach that you want to go in this will go just fine. So I'm gonna take some onion powder and give it a little sprinkling of onion powder. I'm gonna grab some salt and pepper. I may put just a little bit more onion because I'm not putting actual onions in here. So we'll give it some good onion flavor with that. And some salt. Let me grab a whisk and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my asparagus and bell peppers. They're, they're not soft at all, but I just got them, gave them a little bit of a head start. So we're going in there. Okay, 
We're also going to add in about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And I may actually put a little more, but I also want to add some feta. So let me open this and we'll add some feta. Okay, guys, I took just a little bitty pinch more of mozzarella. And I'm going to go in with some feta cheese. All right. And that's all there is to it. Let me just um, stir this up and we'll pour it up. <clears throat> okay, so I've sprayed my pie dish and we're just going in. Now this is gonna go in a 375 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. So it's going in now and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, let's get her out. Mm, 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 isn't that beautiful? Now, I will eat that with, um, I'll eat that with some salsa and sour cream, and Bryant will probably eat it just as is. Just plain. Just plain. So, let me get a um, spatula and a knife, and Look we'll how, cut into it. Look how pretty the colors are. I wonder how tomatoes would be in that. Uh, I've already told them tomatoes would be great. Yeah. All right, hang on, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, let's see how we can get into this thing here. It's like a souffle. So it's going to deflate maybe a little bit when I cut into it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like my ego sometimes. Yeah, like your ego. <laughs> when I... I think everybody loved the cow twitching joke. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we've had like rave... You get a bunch of comments rave, on that joke. Rave reviews on the uh, cow twitching joke. I'm struggling. Struggling. It's hot, and I can't touch the pan because it's so hot. Ooh-wee. Look at that. Look at there. Look at that beautifulness. All right. You come here, put the camera up, and you taste All it. Right. We'll be right back, everybody. Okay, we're ready to taste test. I've got my salsa and my sour cream. He doesn't eat it. He thinks that's weird. It's yep. not weird. Tell him it's not weird. Leave a comment down below weird. and tell him, Omelets need sour cream and salsa. But this is not an omelet. Well, it's close enough. Eggs need salsa and sour cream. All right, here we go. It's got <clears throat> asparagus. It's got cheese. It's got eggs. Orange what pepper. Is, orange pepper. Mm -hmm. Mine's very, better than yours because it's got salsa and sour cream. <laughs> very good. Very comforting. Good. This is really... This is a good comfort meal. Full of flavor. And it's good for you. Lots of protein. <clears throat> you could put, if you wanted to, you could put uh, some sausage in there. This is good. Some, some bacon crumbles. Oh, yeah, bacon. Yeah. You this is totally a vegetable um, <clears throat> frittata yeah. or crustless quiche, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you could definitely I add you, meat to it or... I thought you said omelet. Egg dish. <laughs> She's cheating. It could be whatever you whatever you want to throw in here, throw it in, and it is some kind of good, let me tell you. Yeah. I want these lights back on, so we're going to have to pull it back up. Okay, All right. You talk to them while I turn the lights She back moved on. you, like, really close to me, didn't she? <clears throat> she was... Ooh. You remember that show, Touched by an Angel, and the light come on at the end? You remember that? Oh, the... It's kind of like, look at my head. That's, that's when of, the death angel comes. No. Oh, that's, <clears throat> that's kind of what I look like. Boy, really He's good. He's an angel. <clears throat> this, yeah. Not with a pitchfork, right? Just an angel. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I'm just kidding. He's an angel. Y'all, this is so good. Go to, and like I said, if you don't want to use the egg beaters, use four to five eggs. It's delicious. All right, really, really good, really tasty. So, <clears throat> she's got her mouth. She's got her mouth full. 
And you're drinking. So, I'm drinking water. <laughs> so. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us here. <clears throat> Drop a comment down below. Tell us how tasty this looks. Next week, cool stuff coming up. We're making donuts, like from scratch donuts. I'm so excited. Be sure to click the subscribe, give a thumbs up, hit the bell notification so you get all the videos. And uh, hey, watch the one at the end of the, the uh, um, this yeah. video. You may not have seen it before. There'll be a couple of extra videos I suggested for you, so right. go check them out. We're out of here. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastors Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.